Welcome back, Travelers of the Side of Havoc here, and we are back playing a little more Project Ozone 2 on Kappa Mode. And today we are going to do some more fun stuff, basically. That, that, that's the long and short of it. We're going to do some more fun stuff. But I kind of want to show you what I've been up to um, in the meantime. I've been working on my farm and trying to get some stuff together over um, in the last millennium for the farm. And then also I have been working on applied energistics. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start off by saying, what do you guys think of this? I don't know. It looks weird. The These are actually the facades that are supposed to match this color. But as you can see, it's not the same color. It's kind of weird. But I was trying to go purple and gold because I think I've said before, I'm a huge Minnesota Vikings fan. And so, you know what? Let's color theme. So... I don't know if it's going to stay, but I kind of like it. That yellow is just awful bright. So we'll see how that goes. But anyways, I'm going to start off this episode by saying, if you guys are enjoying this series, please let me know down in the comments and give me a heads up of things you want to see me do and, you know, all that fun stuff. And if you do get, enjoy these videos, please don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up button. It just helps me kind of get a couple more viewers and it's going to help people who watch stuff like you get recommendations because you hit that like button. So it would be greatly appreciated, but that's enough about that. Oh, also, and if you like what you see today, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. So without further ado, we're going to get going into it. So I, there's a couple things I want to do today and they all kind of tie into each other in, in a weird way. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to get going on, as you can see, I'm already here, uh, RF tools, right? Because that's going to kind of lead to where I want to go with this. Um, I want to get more into draconic evolution. And one of the best ways to start just getting mass amounts of awakened draconium is to make a world just filled with, uh, ender dragons. So. We're going to be messing around with that today. So the first thing I think we have to make, I believe, was the, it's this guy right here, um, the Dimlet Researcher. So I think I should have everything. Oh, you know what? Before I get started, I want to show you what we're doing. So I've been kind of working. Uh, this is all going to move, but for right now, it's all kind of set up like that. This is going to be kind of my work area. I don't know if I like this floor. Um, I think I might go back to a solid color. But this is going to be the work area. I'm going to start setting up the crafting station area over here. We might get to that today. We might not. I'm not 100% sure. Um, my goal is to get that as well. That's that's one of three things I want to get done today. So anyways, this is going to be kind of like the crafting area over here along with, you know, um, start sparting off machines. So we're like we'll have maybe the uh, thermal expansion stuff over here and we'll have ender IO stuff over here and just kind of all tie it in to the auto crafting process. But that's basically my auto crafting room up there. I'm not sure how I feel about the looks of it, but that's what it is right now. Now over here is going to be our, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, RF tools area. Uh, I might need to expand it, but that's what that area over there is for. And other than that, the only thing I'm thinking about is, um, you know what, let's go to the last millennium to talk about what the next part. I'm thinking about moving a mob farm onto uh, back into the overworld area, but I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that. So I'm not sure, but like I said, I want to start doing islands and stuff because I got that Batania Island just looking kind of lonely over there. So I want to add a few more islands, and I thought a mob farm island might be a good idea because if you see, well, while I'm going by, I've expanded the farm. I don't know what else I want to plant quite yet, but it is up and ready to go whenever I decide on whatever I want to plant. But right now I've got 16 farms set up and they're pumping out stuff pretty ridiculously. I haven't taken down the Menencio yet just because I'm not sure exactly how I want to move it since I still got the crafters back here. But for right now, it's just a little floating entity over here doing its own thing. Now, I took out the mob farm and there's two part reason. I was doing something and I needed to get inside. Oh, I needed zombies. I needed zombie heads to make the uh, harvesters. And so I hopped inside trying to kill zombies to get zombie heads. And I, it's been so long, I forgot all about them John Cena creepers. And a big old corner of my uh, mob farm was missing. But I was already in the mindset of wanting to get rid of the mob farm here and create that mob island. So it kind of worked out in that, uh, in, in that sense. But the reason I'm here right now is for these guys right here. These unknown dimlets. We're going to need these. Oh, look at, oh, it's just one. <laughs> I was like, look at that, I got mob heads right there. Um... I, I need the uh, dimlets to uh, well, 
make the researcher and then start researching stuff and uh, get those all stocked up. So here we go. So yeah, that's that's the tour for right now. Not a lot else going on. Um, everything. Oh, I did change this out. It's not a. I don't see a big difference between uh, switching out the jelly cryothium uh, or switching the diamonds out for jelly cryothium. It seems to be. Right now, I've got it set at uh, like maximum efficiency. So I'm getting 40,000 RF per tick, and I'm using half a bucket, uh, half a millibucket per tick. So it's not too bad. I was getting 150,000 approximately, but it was like 1.7 millibuckets per tick. So it was like over three times more waste for um, quite a bit more energy. So I'm not sure if the jelly cryo theme is really doing its thing, but you know. It is what it is. So, anyways, moving on. Let's go ahead and put these dimlets away, like so. And let's start with our dimlet researcher. The dimlet researcher is actually pretty cheap and easy to make. Um, I should have a couple comparators. Iron's easy. Redstone's easy. I don't have this machine frame, but I can make. I have those. Have those. Have those. I just need to make these. I've got shiny ingots, and I've got light gray. I believe. No, I don't. But I can make that really quickly. So this shouldn't be... Oh, I can do it with slag, too. I totally forgot about that. I have no wool. Am I out of wool, really? No, I'm not out of wool. Why didn't you auto-populate? There we go. What's going on there? Um. Oh, wait. I'm going to need a couple more. There we go. Let's just hey, make sure I got enough. There we go. So Dimlet Researcher. All right, so... Yeah, comparators. Um, now I can make these. Why are you not auto populating wool? This is kind of interesting. Because you're not rock wool. Oh, that's interesting. So I got to get some slag. Ah, cool. I do have some. So let's just go smelt down some slag real quick to make the rock wool. Uh, yeah, I've been doing other stuff, kind of show you around. Um, I needed wood, so I pulled out the old cache from the very, very beginning, cache, whatever you want to call it, and kind of plugged it into the sawmill and just started mass producing wood. Figured, why not, right? I don't really need the plank, so, you know, it works. All right, so I got the rock wool, and yeah, I've been mass producing a lot of stuff lately, just kind of like thinking ahead and stuff. We'll see how it goes. Uh, one, two, three, there we go. And now the Dimlet Researcher. All right, so you, you're good. Got you, thank you. Oh, there, you. And there's the Dimlet Researcher. Achievement complete. Cool. Now, the next thing we're gonna wanna get into is, this is probably Research a Dimlet. Oh no, that's, uh, that's the loot chest I just did. Um, we can do the inscriber or we can do the modular storage. Now I want to start heading in the direction of getting a planet done and uh, getting a new world done. So we're going to start heading in that direction. So I'm going to want the inscriber and that one I should be able to do as well. There we go. Shouldn't be too difficult. Um, it got tons of that. I need another one of those plastic or that's paper stack. Interesting. Bronze we should have, electric team we should have. So let's just make up another one of these. So I need three more of these. Hi, puppy. And should have everything there. Good. And I don't have the paper stack, right? What is a paper stack? <laughs> Four paper. That's original. Uh, like I couldn't figure that out. Okay, cool. So now we've got the dimensional inscriber. <clears throat> so that's how we create our first dimension. And then what else do we got here? Uh, RF builder, uh, the dimensional builder. That's very, very important for creating a dimension. Um, let's see. You're over here, dimensional builder, creative dimensional builder, and builder block. Nope, but we will probably make that eventually. Uh, Ender diamonds I don't have, but player core. Okay, that's super simple. And I don't know if I have them, but I can make them very easily. My my computer's been a little acting up today. I don't know what's up with that. Um, and I have everything. Oh, no, I need to make another one of you. So apparently these are important to the <coughs> RF uh, tools game. 
and there we go and now I've got the dimensional builder cool so we're just flying along through this part of the book um, let's grab another loot chest and now uh, return to receiver and then return to sender um, yeah well uh, matter receiver and well let's see that's not what I wanted to do but let's see if we can make those There's the sender and receiver. Uh, receiver first. Easy, easy, easy. So yeah, so let's let's make a bunch of these. Let's make like 12 of them. Perfect, 12 was a good number. Um, I don't know how many more of those machine frames I have, but we probably only need these two. So there's the matter receiver. There we go, and oh, matter transmitter right there easy peasy uh, so basically the same thing just upside down that kind of makes sense and a charged porter nice that's outstanding um i mean that kind of goes with what we're doing so that makes sense and a loot chest there we go so we pretty much have been flying through this uh, dimensional tab let's go ahead and make one of those while we're at it and that's pretty much everything we're gonna need to travel to another to create another dimension at least a start right um, inscriber item reward oh did I get that inscriber item reward I guess I can craft it there we go all right and we've pretty much just flown through RF tools today. I didn't realize it was actually going to be this simple. So we've got everything we need there. Oh, I didn't collect. Oh, that's why I didn't get it. Cause I didn't collect that loot chest. Um, we're not worried about the shards just yet. Not worried about any of that modular storage. We'll kind of get to. So now that we've got all the RF tool stuff, uh, let me get a whole bunch of conduit to power all this stuff. Uh, there we go. Oh, I'm getting low on conduit. And you know what? Let's open these loot chests while we're standing here. Oh, give me that back. So I've been having a lot of fun, um, like even off camera, getting ready for a lot of these episodes. Oh, laser focuses. Um, playing more long range viaducts. I get a lot of those viaducts, but I haven't really found a use for them. Like I tried to use them in the old base setup, but it just didn't. I didn't find a need for them. I guess I could use them. I don't know, like transfer myself over to like another island or something like that. That kind of be a fun way to do it. But now that we have the enchanted charm of dislocation, it just doesn't make sense. So I'm not overly worried about it, but it's just something that's been on my mind. Like, you know, I really want to get use out of everything. And really, because I'm playing with a lot of mods that I've never played with before. And so it would be, you know, nice to kind of be able to use them all. But I, yeah, I, like I just really don't see use. I, I don't. Uh, let's see. I made this five wide. So we'll put the researcher right here. And uh, let's see. We'll put the builder. No, we'll put the inscriber right here. And we'll put the builder right here. And then I think we'll put, I'm really, my pickaxe is just so good. Um, matter receiver. So that's a return trip. And matter transmitter. There we go. So, whoosh, and back. All right, cool, 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 cool. So now I just gotta get these guys some power. And that is super easy. That's why I grabbed the conduit. So you're right here. There we go. And get these plugged in from right here. I kind of did the builds. I, you know, I'm trying to do different layers. Like I don't want to do the same layer every single time. So sometimes I'm going up like three. Sometimes I'm going up one. I, I don't know if that's interesting to you guys, but it's just kind of my way of building right now I don't know if that's interesting to you then cool if not then 
Uh, I'm sorry for wasting your time. So those all have power now, and so we'll start being able to uh, decode the dimlets. Now, actually, I'm going to end up moving this around because I'm going to need dimlet storage, and I'm going to have this thing auto pu uh, pumping into the dimlet storage. But for right now, we can at least start a stack of them and get that going. So let's grab some dimlets, and we'll just grab a quick stack. Uh, put that away, that away. I don't need you. And charge porter, I'm actually going to put in my bag right here. So we don't die when we go to a new dimension. Yes, that's seems logical to me all right so 64 dimlets in and i'm gonna have to already pump out of there let us well i guess we can do the other part of the thing um the uh the storage part let me look at that real quick um because we're gonna need to pump into them anyway so modular storage that's that's probably super simple either uh, as well i should say uh, modular I should have probably typed modular instead of storage since there's so much of that there is oxygen storage module oh no modular storage I'll get you eventually there we go uh, super simple super easy there we go I should have a chest I do cool and let me get a conduit just for the time being. I don't know if it'll automatically do it. I'm gonna stack it on top and see if it auto transfers over. If not, we can just do the uh, the cable for right now because we're gonna need a bunch of these. So you do not auto pump up. So let's do this. I actually, I don't remember if RF tool, uh, Never mind. As soon as I saw that, that kind of answered my question, but it won't pump into there. Um, that's interesting. Does it have to pump on top or can I just put you like this? Will you do that? No. Will you plug in on top? There's got to be a way. This thing doesn't auto connect. I have to do it manually. Well, heck, well, let's go grab a chest and uh, I guess we'll do it manually. I mean, that's not a huge issue, but that really messes with my automation process. I love automating stuff. So what we'll do is just put a, um, well, we'll put you over here since apparently you're not gonna work the way I wanted you to. So put you right there and then we'll just throw the chest on top for right now and set you to extract and oh you gotta be kidding me oh. some days it just doesn't want to go your way all right so i can't fly very well right now there we go and insert and now you should start getting those right okay cool so let's pumping those in um i could put another chest and start pumping the unknowns or i can I can do this. Uh, insert. We'll put this one on in and out. And we will put this one on in and out. And there we go. I don't think it'll pump these back in. I don't think it can. And then I can just put all of the uh, unknown dimlets in that chest. And hopefully it'll cycle through them all. Hopefully. I don't know. I don't remember if they're all stacking either, like like-kinded dimlets are stacking. I know they do it in the modular storage. Uh, let's see if they're stacking. They don't seem to be stacking. So this could be a bad thing. Um, oh yeah, there they go. Now they're stacking. So it's just, it's starting to get duplicates. Okay, cool. So then that should start pumping in. Yep, it is. Cool. So that's on auto cycle for right now. That is stage one of getting going on uh, RF tools. The next thing I want to do is go create a, a dimlet farm. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I forget what the name of that stuff's called, the soil that you get, uh, earth, cursed earth. There we go. So I'm going to grab a whole bunch of this and I'm going to go create a mob farm in the end. So we can get a whole bunch of endermen. Um, yeah. And, um, 
start getting a whole bunch of the dimlets there. And then I'm basically just going to filter out with an item collector, which happens to be on my screen right there. And a chest uh, could be any chest. I don't want to use my draconic chest. Actually, it doesn't even have to be a chest. I can do it straight to the dimensional transceiver. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go set up this farm in the end. And uh, once I get it all set up, I'll come back to kind of show you guys where we're at and what's going on and how many dimlets we're getting. So I will be right back. All right, welcome back, guys. So uh, we've got our farm set up. It's not too shabby. It's this small, quaint little guy here. I basically just have all these fans point into the one diamond um, spike. I've got a vacuum hopper up above to collect all the experience orbs and pumped right into there. And then down here, I've got a chest with an item collector um, collecting all the items in there. And then I've got priority set to like Enderman heads, um, Ender pearls, Menincio, and then the dimlets. And then everything else is just going off to the trash can. Oh, you know what? I missed one of my chunk loaders. I need to bring another chunk loader down here. But super simple setup. I think it's going to work out quite well. And yeah, so... I just wanted to show you it's a really really super simple setup but it's doing its job and so now we're going to head back to the overworld because i want to mess a little bit more with uh rf tools the reason i really want to start focusing on rf tools is because i want to create a dragon dimension if i can create a dragon dimension then i can just get rocking and rolling on um you know uh draconic evolution stuff like that and get all the awakened draconium ore or uh, the Wakem Draconium. So that's kind of what I want to focus on right now. And so basically, that's what we're going to do. Um, why are my hearts refilling right now? That's kind of strange. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, um, so yeah. So I was thinking about it, and I finally remembered uh, it's storage modules. I remember seeing them because I, I got them set up to craft uh, because we need them for the uh, 1Ks for the applied energistics. So I'm gonna craft one of those up real quick just to make sure that it works properly. And now I can go put that in this bad boy here. I believe it goes like that. There we go. And now I can put up to 100 in here. And so if I go through and just grab a whole bunch, it still doesn't help with the whole not being able to pipe them in thing. There's got to be a better way. There has to be. Uh, there's got to be a way to pipe them in. I mean, I just I, 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 just have a feeling that I'm just not seeing it. If you guys know, please, by all means, tell me. If there's a way to pipe them into this thing, let me know because... Uh, hey, where'd my magnet go? Did, it took my magnet. It took my magnet back. Making sure it's just dimless in here. All right, cool. Yeah, um... Yeah, if you guys know the way, please, 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 please let me know. Because I know we're going to need to make, like, a mad, crazy uh, dimension. D did something just take damage? I heard, like, a t sound. I don't know. It wasn't the chest. Oh, did I take the dimlets out? Or did all the dimlets go in? Oh, no, those are blank dimlets right there. Yeah, they're there at the end. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm getting sidetracked here because... I'm so excited about just creating just a random, ran, totally rando uh, dimension. So we need to go get our, um, oh, what do you call it? The scrambler thing, <laughs> uh, RF tools. This thing right here, um, the empty dimension tab, that's what we need. And we're just gonna go make a rando dimension just to kind of see what we end up with. It could be totally unstable for all I know, but here we go. Um, do I have to manually put you in? All right, store. There we go. And how long is this going to, shouldn't take too long. It's, there you go. Super fast. All right. Just want to check out a new dimension here. So maintenance cost is 260, sorry, 2,600,000 RF per tick. Specified 100 RF per tick. Current power is dropping drastically you know what just to test it out just specifically just to test it out uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go make the uh i forget what it's called but the big pink thing uh at our rf tools it's this guy right here it shouldn't be too expensive oh it takes dimensional shards 
Um, and I haven't collected any dimensional. I don't think I have. Um, dimensional, no. Okay, so I can't build that to save my life. Um, maybe if I just pick a whole bunch of like low cost ones because I'm out of power. All right. So what we're going to do, <laughs> we're going to switch this up real quick. We're going to go ahead and extract that. We're going to come over here and pick a whole bunch of uh, items to show in, sort on name, short on count, uh, don't show groups, show groups. I just want some low level ones. Items are shown in list view, columns. No, I want the list view. Um, doesn't it go by rarity? I thought that it like, oh, you know what? That's what these other upgrades are for. Let's do those because I want to grab a whole bunch of like, you know, zero rarity stuff to make it a really cheap dimension. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be that expensive. Also, that could be an adjustment for Kappa mode. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. Uh, where are the upgrades? Here they are. Um, this one right here, generic storage module. Um, says the module storage block with support for sorting items in general. And this filter mode for the winter block. This module can make the storage block only accept certain types of items. Interesting. Well, how about you? Let's make you real quick. One of these, I believe, sorts it into like rarity types. And I think this might be the one. No, there's got to be a way. Sort on count. No. Oh, it's like just number of. Um, okay, so sky, normal cool um huge liquid orb no i don't want that um digit um hold on types generic type there we go biomes asteroid dimlet cold taiga um extreme hills no fungal forest interesting mesa mesa plateau moon so man i just want something simple yeah, let's go with the extreme hills. That's probably rarity one. I want like rarity zero. Um, all right, so we'll grab that one right there. And what is all this right here? Get back in there. Sky is normal. Um, I want to grab them all to make sure that we're putting them in right. Uh, effect mining fatigue? No, no. Uh, feature canyons? Caves? Let's do canyons. Let us do canyons. And uh, liquid concentrated cloud seed, formic acid, Constantine, dark steel, electrical steel, red orm, solarium, uh, black stained glass. Um, well, let's 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 just let it be water or whatever's normal. I want these are all rarity too. Let's do what's something red orm. I, I remember that. It's like, you, okay, there we go. We'll do liquid solarium, whatever. Uh, material. I want that to stay normal. Uh, mobs, I don't want. Uh, sky. We already grabbed that one, right? Yep, normal clouds. <clears throat> I want one that's like day night one. Um, special efficiency. Terrain amplified. Terrain cavern. Terrain void. No. Uh, time midnight. <clears throat> time noon oh yeah let's do time noon so it stays daytime and weather hard rain no we don't want that all right so let's see if this is expensive now what's up with that okay that's good let's go ahead and call this first and store it got it and then we go to the builder and put it in should be pretty quick it shouldn't be expensive. Yeah, that's, that's super cheap. There we go. That's that's much better. Um, let's pop it in. Hurry up. Get there. Check it out and get back. Um, oh, wait. I forgot. I got to leave it in there. I got to leave it charging. All right. So the current power, I'm not getting enough power to it, I guess. So let's let this charge back up. We'll pop it back in. I just remember we have to make a dialer. We don't have a dialer yet. So let's go get ourselves a dialer. 
it wasn't I don't know if it was one of the achievements or not but let's make this I'm out of rock wool I've got one so let's get some slag real quick and go make this cool I got 63 oh you know what I probably already have some in here because I just grabbed what I needed didn't I nope it's all there though come on come on come on rock wool good to go and there's that and now we're making the dialer so I'm going to need to make this which means I need this there we go you you oh I need the middle part you you there we go and we've got our dialer cool now we're going to be in and out really fast because I can't make the one to keep it open and apparently I don't have enough power <laughs> to uh, get in over here. I, I This thing is producing like 150,000 RF per tick right now. 315,000 RF per tick. <laughs> I want to make sure that this doesn't collapse on me. Oh, you know what? This doesn't have to be right here. I just thought about that. This, I can just put over here for right now. It's gonna hold the dimension open anyways. And let's put you right there there we go now you'll stay open won't you yep current power is maxed out all right we're good to go awesome 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 all right so we've got the dialer there let's call up first um it's got to be this one the one i just made what is this oh that must be the accidental one i just made. okay so we're going here dial it up Dial's okay. Um, we should be good. Why do my hearts keep dropping? I'm not taking damage. I thought my ring protected me and gave me extra hearts. This one. I've got mana. I don't know what's going on, but my hearts are down again. Maybe if I just do this. I don't know. But anyways, off to a new dimension. Here we go. I'm scared. Every time I go to these new dimensions, I always seem to get like a really bad one. Okay, so you're right there. I can always get out of here. This is interesting. So this is Extreme Hills. Frozen River. This is new. Ooh, that's where we get the dimlets. That's where you can always get more dimlets. That was pretty close by. Ooh, pretty little decoration. Dimensional pattern block number two. Yep. Um, can't you just... Oh, there you go. It's left click. So like, can't you just right click these out? Let me turn my magnet back on. Oh, now I'm getting extra hearts. What is going on here? All right, cool. Anything cool? So I'm going to spend some time going around and getting a whole bunch of dimlets and you know kind of checking out some of these worlds this one's super cheap to run so we'll be good to go with that um i guess i could just use my thing to go back but wait where was the where did i spawn in at where did i spawn in at i saw that was it over here ah there it is <laughs> it was like um i don't want to get lost so if I just walk over this plate, if I remember correctly, it sends me back, right? No? Do I have to right click? First, public. How do I get back? Well, good thing I've got this here, huh? Oh, you know, it's that porter thing, isn't it? The receiver. Yeah, because you're so... Wow, that could have been really bad. Because you've got to bring one with you to take you back. That's right. And this thing, I think I've actually got it charging over here. This guy right here, that's what you do. You right click on <coughs> the receiver and it'll bring you back. Now I remember. Okay, first. Oh, I'll just do that. Uh, interrupt that call. Let's turn it off. Cool. All right, so you're not running anymore. So that's cool. Why am I taking damage? What is going on here? All right, and your maintenance cost is 854,000 RF per tick. I'm not making that much energy, so how is this? Oh, wow. Oh, it's pulling from this. Oh, let's get that out of there. 
let's get that out of there. These are, seem to be really, really expensive. Um, they're going to be kind of turn on, do your thing, and turn off really, really quickly. I have a feeling. Because that, that's expensive. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and descramble this one. And then we'll eventually find one that suits our needs just fine. But for right now, we're just kind of rocking and rolling with what we got. And I am totally happy with everything that we got right now. Wait. Oh, you're already full. Okay. So, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, I hope if you guys have any other advice for me when it comes to RF tools and stuff like that, I know I can make the syringe and go uh, do the Ender Dragon, which I want to do in the next episode. But I know there's some stuff. We got to get uh, reaping um, and on some spikes and uh basically just starts like attaching it to uh like that diamond that uh is in the end right now so we can get some mob souls but if there's anything else that you guys think you know i should be checking out or whatever um uh, any type of direction you want to see me in by all means please let me know i am all ears but y'all know the deal i already said my spiel at the beginning so i'm not going to say it now so until next time travelers i'm slaughter havoc and i'm out of here peace